Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm playing The Torture House. Now, I've been getting off pretty much scot-free with a lot of these horror games recently. Haven't been scared too much. However, one thing that does really freak me out is when people go missing or disappear or are abducted. This game is about a young woman, a young model, who is abducted. I don't know much more than that, but looking at the fetish hardcore, I... I can see where this is going. Okay. Well, let's get started and see if this game will actually scare me. For your best experience, use headphones. Okay, play in the dark. No, thank you. Play alone. Okay, lock doors and windows. Why wouldn't you? Make sure you don't have anything locked with you. Not, not really. Make sure no one is filming you without your something. Well, I'm filming myself. I mean... In September 1994, Victoria Atkins, a young aspiring model, was traveling through Cook County, Texas in search for job opportunities and then suddenly disappeared. While it was initially believed she would simply become lost on the road, days passed without any sign of her. But what no one else could imagine were the horrors of the ultra-violence she would experience in a place that could easily be described as hell. The torture house. I see. Um, so this is a 90s based um, story. Interesting, interesting. I'm exhausted after this trip. I just want to go to my room and put my things away. My key has the Rimba 107. Oh, I already do not like this. Okay, she can run though. I'm going to make sure you survive. Lady. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, th these types of games, like the psychological horrors, are the ones that really get me. So, maybe today I'm not going to look too much of a man. Where the heck is my room? Must be the next one, right? Ah, uh, crapulous. Get in there. Ah, okay, there we go. Let me use that. Ah, there we go, nice. Where's the bedroom? I can't carry this backpack anymore. Yeah. Can we lock the door? <laughs> oh my god. No, we cannot lock the door. The door just is there. Caution, maintenance, and progress. This room is isolated for maintenance. Okay. Okay, so that is locked. Fair enough. Uh, hmm. The thing is... Please, if you're a young woman, you should not be traveling alone like this. Jesus, this is making me anxious, and I'm not even in the game. Huh. Okay, so that's the bedroom. Nothing looks pretty interesting there. Um, can we put our bag down here? It's almost empty. I should stay here for more days than... I should stay here for more days than I expected, so I'll need to buy some things to eat. Oh. I'll think about it later. I still have some snacks in my backpack. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's sit down. Oh, I don't like this. I really, really don't like this. What's happening? What's going on? Oh, okay. That was, that was just that. Okay. That really confused me. <laughs> TV. It's not one of the best rooms, but at least as a TV. Phone, do you work? I don't have anyone to call right now. Okay, just checking. Okay, and what's through here? I should maybe put my things away in the bedroom before checking the rooms. Fine. Um, hmm. Put backpack. Okay, nice. Yes, backpack. That's it. Now I can finally read that letter. What letter? Dear Victoria, I hope this letter finds you well. How are things going? It's been a while since I heard from you, so I decided to send another letter. You're always in a different place all the time, so it's hard to know your exact address. In your last letter, you mentioned receiving a proposal from a magazine. I hope things are going well. Just don't get discouraged. I know things aren't easy for you, girl, and how hard it is to find an opportunity for this type of work that isn't, you know, men's magazines. Yeah... Your friends always ask about you. You should write to them too. 
I always hear them telling others how you took your car and set off on your adventure to chase your dream of being a model like in Hollywood movies. Oh, I guess now I know why you don't write to them. I know you don't want to disappoint them. Jeez, this is, this is deep. Like, this is actually, this is mad. Mom and dad are fine. Mom misses you and dad doesn't talk much about you. Well, thank you. You know how he disapproved of your idea, but he loves you. And I love you too, future Miss America. And love for him, sister Lord. Oh my god. This is so... This is so real. I miss you all. I've been on the road for like four hours. I have to take a shower. The thing is... I really want this character to survive. Because this is just a young woman who's chasing her dream. And for any young person, you know, when you've got ambition and you're trying to do something with your life. Okay, Jesus, I thought I had to go to another room to shower. I was about to literally like die, like. Okay, shower. Ra, you sit in the shower? I never sit in the shower. I used to do that when I was a kid, but like... Oh, she's having a bath. She's having a bath. Okay. You're not a weirdo. Huh. So she's trying to be a model, but it seems the only things that she can find are like more explicit things offering her work. But she's trying to get a decent living being an actual model. Damn. It's a tough life out here. What was that? Ouch. Oh, okay. Is that for the other door? I need to get the clothes from my backpack. <laughs> if I get a jump scare right now, I, I actually might have a stroke, like... I really don't like this. What? Where am I? I'll buy something to wear tomorrow and put this one in the wash. I think I can wear this for one more night. Holy crap. My room is a trap. A hole? A table with some tools. What is this? I have to be careful not to end up falling in this hole. Agreed. TV remote. Sick. <laughs> um, well, like, I guess I could watch some TV. Like... Texas, yeah. Texas size, of course, with 48,000 square feet of floor space. And this is also the hangout. I've never been to Texas. Don't know anything about Texas, but cowboys and steak and guns and America. And that's about it, I know. And pickup trucks. I hate this show, I'm just saying. It's almost a cliche. No, 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 no. Texas is like a distinct nation within a nation, with its own culture, language, and oh yes, its own matchless breed of people. People enjoy seeing cowboy boots, cowboy hats. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Due to heavy rain, we need to isolate the parking garage to prevent flooding tonight. Everything will be back to normal by morning. Okay. Do I need to do something about that? I don't think so. I don't have to think twice to tell you why. Because I'm a pure redneck. I was born a Texan, I live a Texan. Um, should we sit down again? As much as I love watching this Texas redneck uh, bullshit, I am very tense. Wait, what? Why is my visibility faint? Don't fall asleep now. Don't fall asleep now, please, woman. You found a hole in your room that people can enter into. No. What 
What happened to the TV? Damn, I must have fallen asleep. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. No one here, please. Do you not want to go to bed? No? Wait, what? Um... That was weird. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It happens. It does ha- My arms, I can't move them. Oh. Let's get out of here! Oh my god. I'm pressing as fast as I can! That was absolutely horrifically terrifying. I think I've I think I've actually shat myself. Like Oh hell on earth. This is not right. A dusty old machine. It seems to have a chain making it work. Oh, this is not... Save. Oh, it's extremely dirty and it stinks of piss. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what? There's more? Oh, I can leave! Ish, well, not leave, but. It's locked from the other side. This is bricked up. What? Where am I now? Audition, all the spotlights are on you. Now you're an actress and your fans are eager to see you perform. <clears throat> Eyes are watching you from all directions, live the spectacle. Sometimes it's necessary to give your life for the theater. Complete your scene and you're one step closer to becoming an actress. Fail and nobody will miss a mediocre actress. Script. Alice chased the rabbit through the forest until she fell into its hole. She found herself in a room with a small door, but Alice wonders how she will manage to get through it. This is a challenge she needs to solve. How do I solve this? This is like some sick game. Oh. Oh my, what the heck? I didn't sign up for this. Oh god, woman, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, three, two, one! This is not fair. I'm not built for this. This is, uh, this concentration. Come on, go! That was delay, button delay, that wasn't me. Uh... Well, that wasn't fair. I didn't sign up for that type of gameplay. Wait, so the radios are just save points, right? 
Huh. Oh my god. What is this? It seems to be a type of painkiller. Reduction in combat of physical and mental distress. Increases in serotonin and noradrenaline levels to combat mental distress and stabilize the individual. Along with other substances rectified for mood stabilization and anxiety relief. Combats physical pains and aids in the healing and recovery of the individual, sharpens the senses, brings about a temporary ultra focus ele f elephant. An ultra focus elephant, side effects, organism rejection may cause hallucinations, numbness, loss of vocal cords, panic attacks, seizures, and psychosis. Why would I take them then? Okay, so I came through there. So I might be able to unlock that. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. Jesus. So this is meant to be just like a weird torture thing for people's amusement. Um, are those spikes down there? The rabbit seemed restless, euphoric, frequently checking his watch as he ran through the Valley of Uncertainty. After crossing paths with Alice, his instinct was to run faster and faster. The more he ran, the more distorted the sound seemed. The more distorted his surroundings appeared, until in the blink of an eye an obstacle appeared in his path. Only the rabbit's scream echoed and could be heard by Alice. Soon, a lesson she had learned. When a fragile body has to run, it can only bring more obstacles. <laughs> this isn't fair! Oh my god. Okay, let's go. What is that? Why is there a light shining? <laughs> People will be ashamed to say they ever believe you. That was a chase scene? Are you kidding me? I mean, I suppose that I should have known that since I can run, that eventually I was going to be chased, but... Okay. Go, 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 go. Right, so I can't run across that, but when I get across, I need to run. Fine. Okay, let's be tactical here. Calm. Yes. And go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. Small key. Uh -huh. There's another piece of script stuck on the door. Well, we should read it, shouldn't we? Alice found herself trapped in that world, devoid of faith. The sky was falling. She looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces around her. Her hand had been cut by the first fragment, leaving a blood stain, followed by a more intense pain from the second fragment that fell near the first one. Her escape was right in front of her, while she was consumed by hatred and suffocation by the fragments of her key that seemed to mock her situation. Was it delirium, or just a frenzy of madness that sighed from that place? Jeez Louise. Huh, it has a code. Um... Five, seven, one, four. Five, seven, one, four. Five, seven, one, four. Um... One, four, five, seven? Can we do that? One... Four, five, seven. Um, seven, one, seven, one, four, five, seven, one, four, five, seven, one, four, five. Yep, dead. One, four, five, seven. One. 
That was ridiculous. It could be any of the orders. It could be clockwise, anti-clockwise. That isn't fair. So I'm guessing the whole point is that the numbers are meant to be the fragments of the key. But I have to sort of put it together. Okay. So, before we start this... What does the key do? Because I assume the key leads back here. But... We know we can't go back there, right? So the one I didn't do was 1457. But there's also this down here. So maybe the door is just a trap. Maybe the door actually isn't meant to open. Hmm. Okay, so this is meant to be a riddle. The sky was falling, she looked all around, but her key had shattered into pieces. Yeah, okay, the sky is falling, I get it, and these are fragments. Uh, don't know what to do here. I, if you were meant to get that, like, through some sort of really clever strategy, don't know. Trial and error is a bitch. Alright. Pray for me, Argentina. Wait, what? What? Well, then what do I do? Unless it's for this. Small key for a small door? Nope. Oh, wait. The switch? It's not working. Hmm. Well. Can I go back through here? The lock is missing the outer part. I might be able to unlock it if I can reach inside. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Oh, I can go through here. Okay, um... Hmm. Jeez, I don't like how for all of this I'm being filmed. Like, it's mocking me. It's full of old papers and documents. There's a photo of a girl tied up with a gun to her head. There's another photo of a girl tied up with tape around her arms and mouth. Why are these monsters doing this to me? I need to get out of this place. You more than need to get out of here. You need to get out of here and tell the story of, like, how you escaped literal, actual hell. There we go. Screwdriver. Okay, so is that for reaching into the, the door? I assume it is. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, no. Is that a camera? Yes, it is. Okay. Um Okay, so that's the hole that I think I fell down earlier. What? What is this? Okay, so I'm back upstairs now. The hand was stuck, I must have screwed it up and I fell into that hole. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, so this leads me back here. Right, um... Well, I guess the only way is this way, right? There's a wire mesh blocking the way. It looks like there's a camera on the other side. Huh. Okay, I wonder for this machine, can I do that? Can I use this? 
Okay, I've got a chain now. Okay, I think I need to use the chain to cut through the mesh now. So let's go and try that. So I need to go back through this room. Where's the camera? The camera was on the other side of here, right? Okay. Alright, let's try this. No? Hmm. Oh, there's another door here. It's locked. Um, chain? Nope. What have I found? Finally, something. Machinery room key. What? So, is that for here? Alright, let's try it. Nope. Okay. Well, it's progress. Yes! Whoa. It's very rusty. It seems like it hasn't been worked for years. Um, I now have this. Can I? No. doesn't seem to be broken. The chain is missing. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere now. Please don't be someone here. No, 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 no. Come on. I can taste the freedom. No. No. No! No! Oh, too tall! Am I still too tall? Yep, still too tall. No, I'm still too tall! Run! Oh. Rewinds five. So I died five times. That was all in that silly room. 39 minutes to be continued. Oh. That was terrifying. That beginning area, as in like, you know, when you're in the hotel, that moment before you get abducted. Yeah, when you're in that room, the moment before you get abducted, it is insane. Like, that was too much for me. But yeah. Very, very, very good psychological horror game. I actually want to give this like a 9 out of 10. Because that beginning was really scary. I got a little bit lost later in the game just because like you had to go back to get this and this to the this. But overall, it was a stellar game and it was terrifying. But yeah, let me know what you think. Leave a like and yeah, in a bit. Peace.